That's it, living that. Yeah, so from left, I will do only like 15, 20 kilometers to Rotterdam. Rotterdam, next stop. Uh, very close to Rotterdam. Fagiano Good uh, travel uh, filmmaker, and uh, yeah, he's a very, very generous person. He wanted to give me a, a drone, and uh, but it was an expensive drone. It cost uh, new. It cost uh, 1,200 euro, and he's not super wealthy. So I didn't accept it because he can sell it for like 800 euro or something like that. So yeah, that would have been nice to have a, a drone. Uh, no. I didn't. I didn't feel it was fair. He immediately told me that he had a spare drone and he wanted to give it to me, but I couldn't really accept. Accept. If he was a very wealthy person, yeah. I would have ac accepted, but he's not uh, that wealthy, so it's, I couldn't accept such a big gift. But yeah, I stayed uh, one week with him. It was really nice to see how it's organized, to see his gear, his cameras, lenses, how he's organized with the TV program he works for well, it's, it was very interesting and, uh, and also I chilled a little bit went around that I was able to edit two vlogs as well on subpar standards compared to Kuman David but it is what it is the days are very good, a bit windy, but very good, very good temperature. To be honest, the, the, the shower pass hard shell, it's a bit much, but it's better to be warm than cold, no? This is a king. Afternoon. I don't think there is anybody around. So yeah. Um, uh, it's a little nicer than the, than the bike path. Easy ride into Rotterdam. Roof repair. This is where uh, the bike are supposed to go on the, on the paved lane and this is the pedestrian one, some other birds.
Not sure if it's possible to go through by bicycle here. Let's see. Let's see. That's how you got to Rotterdam. There are uh, cows here. This place is fenced. Where am I going? This canal does not exist on my map. and just walk the bike across. All right. Look at the cows there. Beautiful cows. Mucca, ciao Mucca. This must be the trail. say there are lots of nice dirt around uh, even big cities in uh, in the Netherlands to be honest I would have expected to be less nature in the Netherlands and this is the gate on the other side I guess Ah, pretty season. Yes, straight. Straight on. Here the landscape starts to get uh, pretty urban. And I'm very close to my horse for tonight. Two kilometers. On the outskirts of uh, Rotterdam. In every country that I cross, there are uh, very wealthy people and uh, more humble people, but I think the average in the Netherlands is very, very high. My host last night told me that this one, it's the, the district, it's the lowest income district in the Netherlands. Right, let's have a look around. So you see the terrible situation these people are living in. for these people. How can you live like this? Let's have a look around. And uh, my host told me that uh, he was talking to the teacher where her daughter uh, goes to school and the teacher was saying uh, I really enjoy working uh, in this district because it's uh, the lowest income district in the Netherlands and I can make such a difference with these people, with these kids. Mm. I wonder, I wonder. Yeah, as you can see, it's, it's terrible, yeah? There is a little bit of plastic there. Terrible. Park on the on the footpath. Let's go around a little bit more to see how shit is this place. Shame on me, I'm a fool for the melody. I don't wanna stop right now. All I need is a drum with the heavy beat. Hit me with that future sound. It's time to let go. We're not going home This feeling I can't live without It's a shame on me I'm a fool for the melody This is our party And this 
This is where the beat goes down. We are back at the back of the school. Now you've seen the lowest income district in the Netherlands. So unfortunate these people. of Rotterdam leaving this uh, industrial ish area to get to the very center It's almost noon, or is it noon, I think? I'm about to leave uh, Rotterdam. That's uh, the street where I was staying. And uh, that's the central station. And today I'm gonna meet someone that you've seen already on my vlogs about uh, at the beginning of Europe. Surprise, you will see in a, in a few minutes, no, but probably in a few minutes of video, but for me, it's going to be a few hours of riding. Let's go. Yesterday spring, today is snowing. Fucking hell. Sluis Wag Road 158. Uh, I'm leaving Luke's house. It was nice staying here and meeting him uh, after, uh, after the Balkans. If you've seen my videos, you know already this guy. Remember Luke from Albania and Montenegro and Bosnia? Good morning, Albania! Look, how does it feel? How are you doing today? Good, a little bit cold though, but uh, the sun is out, so it's bright. Is it a good day to die? Always a good day to die. Let's go! We are having dessert with Luke, the legend. <laughs> and uh, the dessert he chose is bros before holes. And we recorded a podcast. So this is Luke. We'll have a, a little chat conversation. He's now my warm shower host. You're not traveling yeah. anymore. No. So you stop your, uh, you finish your adventure, your grand adventure in uh, 2019, no? 2019, November, yeah. Yeah. I think soon I will have a, a soon I will have a podcast series, but uh, I need to record a bunch of them before I will release them. But yeah, nice thing. The sun is shining, and I'm off.
Nick, where are we? Hi, I'm Nick. Uh, we are in Breda. David uh, stayed with us for a couple of nights. Breda is a br beautiful city in the south of the Netherlands. And uh, we had a your, great time. Your girlfriend is not here because she's not camera ready. She's <laughs> not. <laughs> she just woke up. She has not to be on camera. <laughs> but uh, we had a great time with David. Yeah. Thank you so much for uh, staying here. Also, Nick is a, is a teacher at a, at a college in Breda. Yeah. Okay. And we are in the Netherlands. Yeah. And, uh, and he gave me the, the chance to talk to the school. It was, uh, it yeah. was really nice. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, thank, and thank you. Thank you for the great. opportunity to rest. Um, <laughs> no yeah. worries. Yeah. And now, if, if well, you were to ever consider a career switch uh, yeah. to become a teacher, please yeah. let me know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know if the students will get a good bargain. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Breda is my last stop in the Netherlands. So now I'm saying goodbye to you and to the Netherlands into Belgium. So let's hit the road. Job. Have fun. Thank man. you. Thank you. This is the border with Belgium. I almost missed it. I had to come back. Uh, this little river is the border. This river, this little river is the border between Netherlands and Belgium. Brabant. Netherlands, Belgium. Belgium, country 53 of the Alaska to Patagonia project. And uh, the sun is shining. I couldn't be happier to enter a country with sunshine. And yeah, goodbye Brabant, goodbye Netherlands. I had an amazing experience even in the Netherlands. And uh, it was really, really nice. Very bad weather at the beginning, but then sun started to shine, the temperature went up and now it's full spring. So let's keep going and see what's the adventures in Belgium.